Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. Today we're going to be taking a look at what I got on the Purple Bag Thursdays at Pennywise in the Katy area. So when you take your purple bag in on Thursdays, you get 50% off of whatever fits in the bag. And I actually met up with Alma. I forgot my bag, so I borrowed some of hers. Let's go ahead and see what I got for $5. The first item I picked up is this nine cup coffee kettle. I really like how it has the measurements engraved there. It did have this strainer style insert that goes inside of it. I thought it was very unique. It has this glass knob for a uh, kind of like handle, I guess. It's really pretty. It's in great condition. It needs a little cleaning, but aside from that, there are no dents in it or anything. So I thought it was a great piece. Now this here, this kind of gives me like, I don't know, like 50s vibes, very straight line, kind of clean black color. I found a bread box at Goodwill that had a similar handle like that. I don't know when this is from, but I think it was really pretty. So I did get this for $1 and it did fit in the bag. So that means that it was only 50 cents for this really pretty kettle, which I thought was beautiful. I found this vintage jar, so cute. It has all of the vintage little images around the jar. It has a really cool grandfather clock, some high back chairs, some old school ovens. I think this is an adorable little jar and it will fit in very nicely, either in my pantry with my vintage jar organization that I am trying to accumulate or I will use it in my craft room. I'm thinking most likely in my craft room because none of my other jars in my pantry actually coordinate with this at all. So yeah, but I just couldn't pass it up. It was two bucks and I did get it for a dollar. I thought that was just a really cute and unique little design. You're not gonna find that in a dollar store and if you did, you'd probably buy it. So I thought a dollar was great. I got this for the hubby. He actually has two old school Ford trucks. He has a, an old school 97 diesel and then he's got a 67. So I thought this was really cool. All of these things haven't been cleaned up yet, of course, as you can see, but it's got the 1915 Ford Model T, 1926 Lincoln, 1939 Ford Standard Coupe, 1933 Ford V8, and 1919 Ford Model T, 1909 Ford Model T. So I thought this was an adorable little mug to add to his daddy mug collection. Just needs to have a little cleaning done to it, and this one was 25 cents, so I got it for 12 cents. That is awesome. A little set that I got. I was so excited when I saw this. It is a very pretty pink stripe pattern of the Corningware mugs, and I thought they were absolutely adorable. I know pink in kitchens trends very well, so I know these are going to sell very nicely to a pink kitchen lover or a pink coffee station supplies lover. Either way, this is a gorgeous little set of the pink stripe Corningware mugs. Now these were only 25 cents a piece, so that means I got them for 12 cents a piece, guys. So for roughly right under 50 cents is what I paid to get all four of these. And I sell vintage mugs in four sets for $20 in my Etsy shop. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My Etsy shop is uh, Bates House, one word on Etsy. And these are just beautiful pieces to be able to conserve, clean, sanitize, take beautiful pictures of them to one day sell them to someone that is going to love them. These are so, so pretty. Just nice pieces. So I can't wait to get those. So I thought this was a great find. It is home for the holidays. Glasses. These are beautiful four piece set boxes of Holly print Christmas glasses. They are so gorgeous. They are new in the box. There's no chips, cracks, scratches, anything like that. I don't think these have ever been used and they are just the perfect little touch of Christmas design, but very clean line and sleek. They do have a gold rim on, or they do have a gold lining on the rim, which is super nice. Anyway, each one of these boxes were $3, so that means I got them for $1.50 since they both fit into the purple bag. That was super awesome. Again, when it comes to things like this, when it's low ball glasses and they're not tall glasses or stemware glasses, 
I sell these four for 20 in my Etsy shop as well. Okay, since Alma was with me and she bought a few items as well, we were able to get a few freebies because at Pennywise, for every $5 you spend, you're able to get a freebie off of the free table. Sometimes it's hit or miss, sometimes you'll find some really cool stuff and then other times it just won't be that great. This time, there wasn't much to choose from, but then we looked uh, a little deeper and we saw these and that was totally cool. I was gonna take just one because I didn't see the other one. Alma actually saw the other one and so that made a really nice set of the Budweiser Anheuser-Busch little glasses here. I thought that was precious, a great little freebie. I don't know if I will clean the rim off and just take all the gold off because it might be a thing to preserve it. But if it's not, then I'll clean it off and I'll sell them without the gold rim and just make them look nice and polished and beautiful. I thought this was a cool little set, so I went ahead and picked those up for free. Alrighty guys, so that pretty much covers everything that I got for $5 on the Pennywise Purple Bag Day Thursday. I was super excited that Alma met up with me at Pennywise so we could run in and shop. I actually stopped just to go to the potty and it was just perfect timing. So I think there are some gorgeous pieces here. I can't wait to get them into the shop. There's just something amazing about being able to collect pieces that create sets that we can actually give a whole new life to. Passing them on to people that fall in love with them as soon as they see them. Again, it is my favorite thing to take them, clean them, sanitize them, take pictures of them and kind of document them for history. The pictures that I take are an attempt to catch them in their best light show all the fantastic angles and details of all the different pieces and just hold on to a bit of history and pass it on to someone that could love it. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what your favorite find was. Share this video with anyone that loves to thrift or maybe is new to thrifting so they can see all the cool things that you can find for either your own home or for your small business on a budget. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Hit the notification bell to be notified of all my new videos whenever I do post. You can follow me on Instagram and my Facebook group at The Bates House. Also, my Etsy shop is Bates House, one word. And for now, guys, that is pretty much it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.